everyone, Toy12 here, and welcome back to another food review. Today we are checking out Munch Pack once again. This is another Munch Pack mini that was gifted to me a couple of months ago. I think this is the third or fourth. This was gifted to me from John Bradley and Anna Reams. I know I say this in all videos, but I want to thank you guys very much for gifting me this amazing gift. So this is like the third or fourth. So we're going to open this up and check it out. So let's see in this one what's in this one so as always we got this little handy dandy booklet that tells us the snacks and the description of the snacks so let's try this one first so it kind of looks like some pretzels with some chocolate so let's see where this is from so this is from Japan. So what it says is these pretzels are roasted using a unique process that ensures an extra crunchy texture and are double coated in a smooth, mild flavored chocolate. So chocolate with pretzels. Can't go wrong with that, right? So this is from Japan. Of course, the writing I cannot understand, but you can definitely tell this is from Japan. So let's open this up. Super excited. We got it. Ooh, that smells really good. Pretzels and chocolate. I feel like those are the best combination that you could think of right now. <laughs> like, like that. Cheers. Pretzels and chocolate. I feel like that you can't really mess with chocolate and pretzels. It's like a sweet and salty. These are so good. I think these are going to get a solid five out of five. Mm. I literally can't stop eating them. They're that good. So the next snack is these. I'm not even sure what they are. But I got two of them. Not sure if they're the same. But I got two of these. I think they're like a cracker. Let's see where they're from. So these are from Taiwan. It's a want, want, senbai rice cracker. So senbai is a type of Japanese rice cracker that comes in various shapes, sizes, and flavors. These crackers are baked to perfection and are made from a premium. It's a Japonica rice. So I'm not sure if they're both the same. So let's open this up. Are they already broken? Yeah, I think they are. Okay, I'm not really smelling anything, but kind of looks like a rice rice kink. Cheers. Mm. Wow, these are actually good. They're like broken, but wow. Look at that. Wow, these are really good. A little sweet. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be sweet, but they're like a little sweetness. Super crunchy. I think they're they're both the same. Because I don't think they're different. Yeah, they're like both the same. They're really good though. A little sweet. I can really see myself eating this like for a snack. For a quick crunchy snack. I would give this a 5 out of 5 as well because these are really good. I like the sweetness. I like the texture. I like that crunch. Kind of reminds me of like a crunchy chip, but rice cake. Let's move on to this next snack. So we got three snacks left. Let's try these. Not sure how to pronounce that. I think frack vanilla. So I think they're like, like an Oreo, but in like a long like shape. So they're from Chile. And it's called Costa Frac Vanilla. I think that's how it's pronounced. So Costa is a brand with more than 100 years of its history in the Chilean market. These crunchy chocolate flavored cookies featured a vanilla cream filled uh, pair well with a glass of ice cold milk. Yeah, so they kind of remind me of like the description kind of reminds me of like an Oreo. But I think it's like their own brand of Oreos. Like chili. Oh, yeah, they definitely smell like Oreo. Like, they're like long. It's like a long Oreo. Cheers. Mm. 
the icing tastes a little different than Oreos. Not necessarily like Oreos, but they look and they smell like Oreos. The, the taste is like a little different. I agree, this would probably be better with a nice tall glass of milk. I might have to do that tomorrow because I have quite a few, but these are good. These are really good. They might not necessarily taste like Oreo, but the flavor and the looks and the texture, it totally reminds me of Oreo. I would give this a four out of five for me to you all day. Let's move on to the next snack. Since we had cookies and some sort of chocolate, let's try some gummies. So I got this, it's Sour Power Straws. Let's see where they're from. So these are from Netherlands. So I'm thinking like Dutch candy. So Dorval Sour Power Straws Orchard Mix. Mix of your favorite fruit picked fresh from the orchard, the mix of banana, peach, Granny Smith apples, and the red raspberries are a truly spectacular. So sounds good. I mean, I'm not a sour, candy kind of guy. I don't really like sour candy, but actually sounds pretty good. All I'm smelling is banana. That's the first thing. Oh, wow. That smells pretty good. I'm not sure if this is the banana, but cheers. That is super sour. Good, but sour. You definitely taste the banana. That's the first thing that you taste. And that's the one I grabbed, the banana. I can imagine what the green one, I think that'd be like the apple. That is apple. Okay, so there's a red one. I would think that's like raspberry. That's peach. Is it peach or maybe raspberries? Tastes like raspberries, but then it tastes like peach. Super sour, a little sweet, very chewy. I like gummies, but I don't like the sour, the sour part. I'm not a sour kind of guy, but these are actually good. The flavor is really good. Like the banana, the green apple, those are the two my favorite flavors. I would say, I would give this a three and a half out of five for me to you all day. I would definitely recommend it if you love sour. If you love sour candy, this is like right up your alley. This is something you gotta try. So let's move on to the next snack. Okay, so the last one, I think it's a chocolate bar. I'm not sure how to pronounce. I think it's cocoa. Nut. I'm thinking it's like hazelnut because there's like little a picture of hazelnuts. So I'm thinking there's like like Nutella, it's like a source like a Nutella. So this one is from Turkey. The perfect combination of chocolate flavor and crisp wafer texture, made with the natural ingredients. This chocolate bar delivers just the right amount of sweetness and the whole lot of crunchiness. So thinking it's like hazelnut, it's like a Nutella. Cause there's like pictures of Nutella, like there's pictures of hazelnuts. So this is from Turkey. And I love trying different snacks from all around the world because these are things you don't really necessarily think of trying. And it's not like that you're gonna come across this like in your everyday grocery store. So it's neat. I like Munch Pack for that reason because they're, they're so full of unique flavored snacks. So it kind of looks like a chalk bar. So cheers. Mm. Wow, this is really good. Spot on to Nutella. The flavor of Nutella is the first thing you taste. Super crunch of the wafers. I'm definitely getting some of the crunch from the hazelnuts. When I'm eating this, one thing that comes to mind is Ferro Rocher. If you guys like Ferro Rocher, this is right up there. This tastes like exactly like it. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this, but it's a Yolker Choconel Wafer. 
I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but that's what it is. This is delicious. Reminds me of like a Ferrero Rocher. This is fantastic. Five to five from you to you all day. Like I said, everything I described, the hazelnut, the crunch of those hazelnuts, the crunch of the wafer, the milk chocolate, totally reminds me of Nutella. So that was all the snacks in this Munchback Mini. What I love about this is that it's a small box, but with five different snacks from all around the world, you get to taste what all around the world has. And this is one thing that I love. Every month, John Bradley and Anna Reams, you guys are amazing. And I can't thank you guys, like I always say, I can't thank you guys enough for this amazing gift and the generosity that you guys have shown me. You guys rock. Question you guys, have you guys tried Munch Pack? If you guys have, let me know in the comment section below on what you guys thought and what was your favorite snack in Munch Pack. Let me know and let's talk. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys did show us, we're gonna see a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell notification so that we never miss a review. Please consider following me on Instagram. That's where I'll let you guys know what's coming up next. I do want to thank you very much for watching. Definitely share this review with your friends, family, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out. I've been feeling dark, but I've been looking